Typically, you're working with a fund with the oil and gas, um, and these are established funds that have been doing this for a long time. So they're tracking all those costs. They have different ways of allocating um, the costs with the wells. Sometimes they have a fund where they're heavy with the tax attributes, and then they have investors outside of that that may not need tax attributes. Uh, so they have a combination of money coming in that they're using to drill new wells. Uh, in the investor fund, they're going to allocate as much as possible to the investors, the setup costs of the wells, so all the supplies, the materials for drilling the well. It's very expensive. Like each well can be, you know, a million, two million dollars to drill a single well. So there's a lot of costs that go into that. The wages, salaries that go into that, that's all, instead of, you know, in normal gap accounting, you would apply that over the life as you, you know, drill and extract the oil and the gas. Uh, but the tax code allows you to take all those expenses, all those deductions in the first year to accelerate that. Uh, so the fund is going to track all that for you. There's nothing that we need to do. They're going to issue a K-1 uh, at the end of that, uh, the first year, second year, and so forth, that's going to show all the accelerated depreciation that your client can take. Uh, and that's all going to be on the K-1 that, you know, transfers over to their individual tax return. As far as, uh, you know, what they can take that against, it, they're that general partner. So it's an act of interest. It's an act of loss that they can take. Uh, and then that's going to offset really any other income uh, that they have on their tax return and be able to reduce that, reduce their tax liability. 